What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you a video about Dome Keeper, an interesting roguelike survival miner with a satisfying game loop. But first, I do have to tell you that this video is sponsored by Raw Fury, the game's publisher, as part of their Raw Simber event. Throughout the month of December, you can check out their Steam publisher page for all sorts of sales, demos, trailers, announcements for upcoming games, all as a celebration of what Raw Fury as a publisher is about, because if you're unaware of who they are, Raw Fury is a Swedish indie publisher. They're behind a great many of well-received indie games such as Sable, the upcoming Superfuse, Norco, Dome Keeper, of course, and many others, all of which focus on bringing you unique experiences as opposed to game mechanics. And all of that you can check out via the link below, which will be in the description as well as a pinned comment. But from there, let's actually talk about Dome Keeper specifically a little bit. This is a game that released back in September, but has seen regular updates since. Though at its core, it's a very simple game. We drop down onto a hostile planet inside a dome that facilitates our mining. We're going to be gathering resources while fending off waves of aliens, all while searching for our goal. Though what that goal is can change a little bit depending on the gameplay mode that you are in, though most commonly you're likely to be playing Relic Hunt, where our mining has a purpose. We're mining for resources, yes, but we're also looking for a large relic. Uncovering and bringing this relic back to our base will begin the final wave of alien attack, and regardless of whether or not you win, the relic will wipe all the aliens out with you winning the round. On average, this takes maybe 30 to 40 minutes, but upon winning a round, you can start unlocking further parts of the game, which will bring all sorts of new features to your attention, such as a variety of domes to actually use, a new character called the Assessor, which we'll talk about in a moment, or even new game modes such as Prestige, which is a sort of endless mode. In addition to these things, though, you can also play the game on normal, hard, or brutal, as well as a small, medium, or large map though you have to clear the lower levels to advance to the bigger stuff. And while that is, of course, a relatively simple premise, a lot of that is compounded by having to upgrade your dome as well as your own speed and capabilities to fend off these alien waves, as the dome is quite upgradable. You're going to be upgrading your defenses, which will vary based on the actual dome you are using. You can find alien gadgets in the mines below as well, which can give you all sorts of tools to use, such as a sonar to detect resources, a pet named Drillbert, who is in fact the best boy, so on and so forth. But one thing I really like about Dome Keeper in particular, though, is that it doesn't over-explain itself. It has relatively simple mechanics, and it lets you figure those out on your own. As there's not really a big tutorial or anything, you just kind of learn how everything works as you go through it and engage with the system a little bit. And they've really polished the gameplay loop here to a pretty high degree. It feels very fun to play. And if you ever get bored with the starter character known as the Engineer, you can play with the Assessor once you unlock them, which was just released back in November, I believe, so a relatively recent addition to the game. And the Assessor actually uses a sort of gravity orb to both mine and gather resources, which allows them to both mine in a unique way very quickly with their gravity spheres, but also, once you start getting good with the character, you can even start throwing the resources around using your gravity field, which will allow you to throw them all the way through the mines if you're good at it which can change up the gameplay loop quite a bit. But Dome Keeper also isn't finished. They keep regularly updating the game with free updates that bring new content, new types of domes, characters, that kind of thing. And in fact, right around the time that this video is going live, the game will be receiving yet another free update, which will include new boss monsters to fight as part of the alien waves, in addition to a new game mode, giving you that many more ways to play. But overall, I think Dome Keeper is a great example of a small, fun indie title. It's very replayable. You can play through a map in about 30 to 40 minutes on average, but even if you don't have enough time, you can exit out and save your progress on that map, which makes it a great game for something like the Steam Deck for you to play on the go. And you can check out Dome Keeper as well as the many other titles that Raw Fury has published by clicking on the link in the description to their Steam Publisher page to, again, check out everything they've got going on for Raw Simber, which is a great way to discover some interesting indie titles as they have published quite a few highly praised ones. But that's all I've got for you guys today. I certainly hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. But regardless of any of that, truly, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.